Shiny 3D launches a new generation of desktop 3D scanner InScan SE. Let's take a look at how it works. Install the scanner head onto the scanner bracket. Insert the calibration board into the calibration board holder. Install the turntable onto the scanner stand. Insert the connecting USB cable into the turntable. Place the scanner head and bracket onto the scanner stand and tighten with a fixing screw. Connect the turntable cable with a scanner head. Insert the power cord. Insert the USB cable. Connect the USB to the computer. The device installation is completed. One click on the touch switch to turn the scanner on. Double click on the touch switch to turn the scanner off. Login InScan website. Find support to download the software. Double click the software installation icon to install and select the device type and activation type. Then a survey will pop out. To improve our product and software, we have some questions to you. Please fill out the report. When the scanner is used for first time or the scanning result is poor, the calibration is needed. Place the calibration board as diagrammed on the calibration interface. Click the snap button to start collecting the calibration board information. The entire calibration needs three collections of calibration board. Place the calibration board in the center of the turntable. Click the snap button to start collecting the calibration board information. After the calibration board information collection is completed for the first position, the software will automatically prompt for the collection of the second position. Rotate the calibration board according to the prompt. Now remember, only the calibration board is rotated and the calibration board holder should not be moved. After the collections for the three positions are completed, the software will calculate. Then the calibration interface will be automatically closed. In the auto scan mode, the preferred object size is less than 200 mm. Create new project. Texture means the scan data has color information. If you choose texture, a white balance test is required. Place the white paper as shown. The scanner head will project three colors of light and the interface will be automatically closed after the white balance ends. Make brightness settings. According to the preview window prompts, the red means overexposure. If you can see the object information clearly in the preview window, it means the brightness is appropriate. Bright and dark is obligable to scanning the bold contrasting colored objects, such as giant pandas. Please remember that scanner should not be placed near a window or places with bright ambient light. Reset turntable steps to change the rotate angle of the turntable. Click the Start Scan button to start scanning. The turntable starts to rotate and the scanner projects the raster. The scan data will also be displayed on the software interface in real time. After the object rotates for circle, the first scan results will be displayed on the software interface. Hold down the Shift key, meanwhile select with the mouse. Then you can add up the chosen data with the buttons at the top of the software. Click on the tick to complete the current scan. If the data is not complete, you can change the object to other directions. Click the Start Scan button to continue scan. Click on the tick and the software will automatically align the two data. If there is a line error, you can select the manual align button. Then hold down the shift key to select three common points of the two data. The software will perform the alignment as selected. Select the mesh button. Choose the mesh mode as needed. The first mode is to generate a watertight model. That means the software will automatically close the data. 
The second is the unwatertight model. That is, the software will not completely cause all missing data. During the calculation of mesh, a simplify window will pop up. The simplification ratio means simplifying the data size according to such ratio. Choose fill hole option. The hole will be filled according to the prompts. Decide whether to tick the smooth and sharpen settings as needed. For more information, please refer to the user manual. Click the Save button. Select the desired data format to save. Scale the data as required. The fixed scan mode is suitable for large-sized objects or objects which have been scanned in turntable mode but we did not get a complete data. You can import the project file into this mode for a supplementary scan. Select the fixed scan mode. Adjust the distance according to the clarity of the cross. The clearest cross position is the best position. Select the appropriate brightness and click the Start Scan button to start scanning. If no edit is needed after the current scan is completed, click on the tick. Change the object to other direction to continue scan. At least one third of the common area shall be guaranteed for two scans. The software will automatically align the two data. If the automatic align fails, the manual align can be contacted. About the manual align process, please refer to the auto scan mode. After several scans, we can get the final result. We hope that the above video can give you help. More information about the use of the device, please refer to the user manual and the InScan website.